Okay, simplifying fractions. This is the science, the math and science guy. Um, number five, the questions or the problem says write equivalent fractions. So they give us two over eight. So an equivalent fraction. Well, I can divide both the top and the bottom by the number two over two. And two divided by two is equal to one. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So there's one equivalent fraction. Okay, and then I can write another equivalent fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom by 2 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 8 times 2 is 16. That's our second equivalent fraction. So there's a couple of equivalent fractions. 2 over 8, 1 over 4, and 4 over 16. Next one. Number 15, write in simplest form. Okay, that's basically saying to reduce it. So let's divide both the top and the bottom uh, by the lowest, you know, get it to this lowest common denominator. Okay, so 4 can be divided by 4 and 12 can be divided by 4. So that's equal to 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. That's in its simplest form. Number 23, write in the simplest form. So I'm going to expand this out. I can multiply 2 times 7, which is equal to 14, times a times a. On the bottom, I'm going to write down, um, let's see, 3 times 2 times 4. 3 times 2 is 6, times 4 is 24. And the a times a. So I can cancel out the 2's, I can cancel out the A's, and I'm left with 7A, and then I'm left with 3 times 4 is 12, and that's in its simplest form. Number 38. Okay, again, they want us to write it in the simplest form. So I can't do anything with a 5, but I can expand out that C, because it's C squared, which is meaning to write C times C times D. 15, I can write 3 times 5 is 15 times C. The 5's can cancel out, the C's can cancel out, and I'm left over with C times D all over 3. And that's in its simplest form. Number 40, again write in simplest form, I have 5 times t, can't do much with that. 2 times 5 is equal to 10, times t times t. So the 5's can cancel, the t's can cancel, and I'm left with 1 over 2t. That's my simplest form. For extra credit, I want you to draw my little guy. Let's put him right next to problem number 38. Hair standing straight up. Big eyes this time. And a great big smile. Eye down here, eye down here, up there. This one right here, let's put arms going up. All right, have a good one. Have a good weekend. Talk to you later.